In today's video on FinChute, we're going to look at analyzing spreads between securities. Oftentimes, you look at a spread in order to determine whether it is wide or narrow in determining future moves of one or both securities, or indeed using that spread to determine the move of a third security. In today's example, we're going to look at the historical spread of the two-year generic bond yield for Australia versus the US. First, click on the top and type in historic spread. Historical spread analysis, historic spread or ratio analysis. Then what we're going to do is type in uh, Australia two year and you can see we can have bond but in actual fact we want two year yield enter. Then we're going to go and have a look at the US, so US two year yield. Two year generic yield, enter. Now what I can see is the spread between Australian and US uh, two year yields. And what I can see looking um, from left to right is my Australian two year generic yield and my US two-year generic yield. If I want to play with this, I can click and change this to a ratio. Or the sum. Or the product. But in this case, we want to look at the spread, which is just the difference between the two. On my far right hand side, what I can see is my spread summary, which is a function of the dates up the top. I'm analyzing from the 29th of May 2012 to the 29th of May 2013. If I want to go back, I can click on the calendar and just jump back a couple of years and this will work it out for me. Hit enter. And you can see that the spread between Australia and the US has been much wider previously than what it currently is, given current interest rates. You can also see from the histogram on the right how frequently the spread has traded at these levels. And strangely enough, you can see that the current the yield spread has been substantially longer at around 425 to 437 basis points than it has down at this 200 basis point level. If I then want to save this, I can save this as an index and I might call this .AUUS2 year. Enter. And I can update this now and use this as part of my analysis for other tasks. So for example, I may now want to have a look at this spread and compare that to movement in the Australian dollar for, as a good example. This was a quick view of using HS in order to perform a spread analysis.